Okay, so after looking at the... I was looking at the salvaging stuff. And I never mentioned before that I, I was finding like flawless Mithrin stuff. And I was wondering what the Mithrin stood for. And I guess it's just like a higher tier of... Like it's a tier above flawless. There's, there's regular flawless and then there's like flawless Mithrin. And uh, I used... I had like one component in each. And I used that to make these things. So as you can see that's a huge, almost 100 points of damage jump. Uh, we do unfortunately lose the 20% overall damage. But we're gaining... Like basically we're trading that 20% overall damage for another 18% in critical with magic. Um, and also gaining a, you know, a lot of damage here. Uh, I think we've had these before anyway, like something that looked like that. Um, yeah, so I guess, I don't know whether Mithrin was in the base game. Because I feel like Flawless was added with Dead Kel. So I almost have a feeling that the Flawless Mithrin was maybe added with the Re-Reckoning update. Like the, the Fate Sworn DLC. Maybe that's like the, the next tier above and that's why that's showing up. But, uh, so we should be like doing even more damage on magic crits now. So no, you, someone. You have finally returned. Much, much has happened since you were away. The house has been. I mean, so I was gone for a while. Not by Tuatha, but by ourselves. The house has rebelled. The other members of the house have marched against the Tuatha. I, I am afraid they may have attacked Bizarain. I do not think he is dead, but we must see to him. Saturnin is watching us, I can sense it. If Bizarain is left undefended... It will be difficult for you to understand, but many did not consider Bizarain the true king of our house. While many wanted to war with the Tuatha, Bizarain stayed our hands. And while our house collapsed around us, Bizarain did nothing. I will not lie. Though I see the value of your presence, Many felt that bringing a mortal into our ranks crossed the line. With you, Bizarain made his final error. I'm yes. sure that's good. Unfortunately, the doors to the house of Barn is kind of a stayed. dick. I am capable of shadow stepping through, but I'm afraid that you, as a mortal, must take a longer route. Go through the proving halls, but be warned, Bogan roam those corridors now. Saturnin's Bogan? already started moving to crush us. Are those those like a red? Okay, fine. I guess that's shadow stepping. Did I not already? We gotta go through this again. They're just making us redo the same dungeon but with different enemies inside. I guess I can test this out now. Hopefully the. Okay, well at least like the sound mixing isn't completely fucked on these. Like it is with the electric stuff. I guess we can test out how much. Did like 1700 a hit? Oh yeah, these are pretty good. It saves me. Okay, can you not play? Did you just strain my magic doing that? I don't know. I guess like losing the 20% magic damage might be a bit of a hit. But I, did, I didn't have like a nothing that could replace that. I want to get like a crit on this and see. I mean, we're still doing twelve thousand damage. We're still killing in one shot, so that's not a huge deal. I think we were doing slightly more before. I guess you should come out there. I just want to get a crit with like the magic here and see how much. Okay, if I could hit something. Um, no, I mean, it seems about the same. I guess we just basically just got... Alright, oh, I forgot you guys block everything, don't you? Yeah, I feel like the magic is about the same. I think it's like trading... Trading like 20% overall damage for like 36% crit damage. So I seem to be getting crits. Uh, enough already. 
But I figured it was worth increasing the critical damage. I guess this at least gives us an option to use the chakras, whereas they were pretty... Honestly, pretty useless before. Because, like, I thought the primal buff would be good, and it might be good, like, early on in the game. But it, it just seemed to, like... I don't know if I just didn't understand it properly. But it seemed to, like, as soon as I... I would get the buff. It would almost seem like it would disappear immediately. Sometimes, like, it was... Like, I would do this move, and it would trigger, and then it would, by the time I'd finish the move, it would disappear, and I'm not sure whether it was because, like, maybe the buff was triggering at the start of the combo, and then by the time the combo ended, it, it had, like, landed enough hits that I lost the buff, or something, but it just didn't really seem worth it. So I think I'd rather just have the extra flat damage than try to worry about uh, triggering the, the primal buff. I guess you made it through. You have arrived as Tybri said you would. It is good that you were able to get through the proving halls unscathed. Yeah, again. But there are greater events at work here. The house may have breathed its last. Oh, you think? The rebels have begun a march of folly to make war on the Tuatha. As they said, they are rallying at a fortress called the Fallen Hall. Didn't I, I go there already? Them. They ignored me. I sought to warn them. They paid no heed. For them, the war started when I became the King of Sorrows. And now, my reign ends. Saturnin wants this, mortal. Without leadership, the rebels will be easily picked off. And so it falls to you and Tybri to save them. Saturnin has made a miscalculation in moving to kill these rebels. Namely, he did not foresee you. We must exploit this fact. Saturnin will have to reveal himself in some form. Go south and learn all you can from him. Kill him if possible. I have instructed Tybri to assist you as best she can, but she is not as suited to this work as you, mortal. Look after her. Sure. Hmm. Isn't the Fallen Hall that one we went in? Oh, it totally is. We already went in there. Yes. Okay, I thought that was like a bit of a... Oh, am I able to leave through the front door this time? Yeah, I thought that was a bit of a, a weird dungeon. They just have nothing in it. Oh, I guess all the enemies respawned in as well. Oh, I guess they're just Tuatha now. Guys, just gonna hang back there? I guess so. So, would these guys have just like replaced the other enemies? I guess I may as well go down and get some free XP off you guys. Oh, actually, this may be blocked off. Is it? Oh, it is. I still kill you, though. Alright. Yeah, I think we're definitely gonna hit, like, level 40 before we even head to the final area. That must be the leader, Saturnin. That, oh, okay. That was the leader. It must have been Saturnin. And if he's heading in there, that must be where the rest of the House of Sorrows are. We have to get past this door. We need to stop him before the rebels are all killed. Are you going to shadow step through again? Oh, okay. I feel like she's going to be like, well, I can't like, I'm not a fighting person, so. In the to get to its heart, we will need to open three great doors. There should be two other sigils. Oh, are those, those are those things that look like the one us. switches? Grant his passage. Yeah, okay. And now these will open. For some reason. 
Yeah, I thought those things looked like switches before. Oh, okay. It's been a while since I tried that out, but I'm getting hit here. I guess it kind of works, it seems to be staggering him actually, somewhat at least. Oh, you're still alive? Yeah, these are the things that I tried to interact with last time. This is the last one though. I know where one of them is. It's down uh no, that's the thing I left last time. One of them is oh I guess one of them's just there. Okay. Because so I knew this one was over here. I didn't think there'd be one right in front of this door. This thing's still up there. How do we get through this? Oh, okay. They just let us through. That was nice of them. Trolling this one. The mountain god. Oh. Now there's a bunch of you. This should probably wipe everyone out there. Except for one of them. Someone's still alive somewhere. Oh, maybe we will fight an Iskari down here now. Really survive that? That's sort of annoying. Oh, where the hell did you come from? Yeah, because this is the room with the, the statues, so I'm half expecting you to summon something. Oh, this is splendid. I was worried I would have nothing left to see to after I slaughtered these wretches. You are mistaken, little one. I am not Saturnin. Though I can see where you might have made such a mistake. Even I have not seen his face. But I have heard his voice and the orders it carries. And that is enough. Now, let us fight! Okay, well, whatever. Are you gonna... Oh, you didn't even land that. Oh, what? You. <laughs> you are more amusing oh, okay. than I originally believed. But my master has given me instructions to spare you. You didn't even land a hit. Saturn has a message for you to deliver to your master. This war is over. Soon the sorrows will belong to the Tuatha. Sure. I thought that another one like spawned in. Okay, well, whatever. I can scarcely believe it. All this death, all this destruction, and we have nothing to show for it. No Saturnin, no safety. 
The weeping king left the world with good cause, for all that is left of the house of sorrows is ruin. We, we must return to Bizring with this news. He will want to know what has happened here. I feel like this quest line is, is far from over then. Now I've got to run all the way back. I'm definitely putting this spring on. I'm so glad they added this to the game. Oh, I mean, I guess you guys are still alive. Although you're not showing up on the map for some reason. I don't know if they were maybe meant to be killed. I think you just want to keep continuing this because I assume they're going to take me to places. Uh, you know, they take me to dungeons that I haven't been to yet. And I'd obviously rather do that now than. Then have to redo them later. So that is what we will deny him. Let our losses harden our resolve. Where once we sought victory, we shall now seek attrition. Fae are the embodiment of magic. When a delver takes the burden of winter from a fae, those burdens are in the form of magic. Over centuries, these magics have been collected, contained in a secret location, the sorrows that Saturnin seeks. Their location is an ancient secret. Only two fae, the eldest, know. They left the house centuries ago to reside in Damalrock. The way to them is blocked by the Great Scale, a mighty spell which you must bypass. That alone will open your path to the Eldest. You must kill beasts on the pans of the Scale. Death is the only weight it will bear. Sure. So is that a... Uh... Oh, that's all the way down there. Okay, well it's going to be a while until we continue this then. So I want to finish that other area first. I was almost expecting Demorock to be this thing. Yeah, I already went in there, right? So I've just got to... I guess we'll do the Banshee one for now. Actually, that's on the way there anyway, so if we follow this one should grab the other ones. I can only really see like something. I think there's a Lianchi over here. Just like this purple thing. Oh. oh I guess these guys are just electricity. Uh yeah, let's take them with their own stuff. I think I really need to be taking the necklaces anymore. Because they're pretty much only worth selling. And even then they're not worth a whole lot. So I thought I saw... Oh, it was this thing. This purple light over here. Oh, it's a Thresh, not a Leanchi, okay. He was like over there before then. Oh, they're just gonna like. Oh, I guess it's pointing to that one. Okay. I guess these guys have like lightning powers, that's probably why they're resistant to it. Yes, we're finding a lot of Mithra and stuff now. I don't know whether that like guarantees that it'll drop Mithra and gear, like the components. Because if so, I should just be picking that stuff up because I'm already like. I have a bunch of flawless stuff already. Until one night, 
when nature changed its course and Gadflow, like an errant thread frayed from the weave, took the crown from Mathon's head. A joke, he said. A joke. <laughs> and the court swayed in laughter. For Gadflow's was often like the mockingbird with many calls, but none of his own. He placed the crown upon his head and, smiling, took a crimson sword. He betrayed the Fey with a swing of his newfound freedom. Uh, I guess the other one's up there. I should talk to you first, just in case you... Oh, I guess I'm going to be in combat. Met an Almain around here named Deod Dungaris. The damned uh, no, fool no, no, no. got himself dragged off by Morgan. I am on an important mission for Templar Julius Maven. He has sent me to recover an artifact from Bunlock, this hulking castle here. Things haven't gone entirely to plan. I got stuck in Nelson Shear for what seemed like an eternity, and now Morgan have run off with my porter. Would you help me out for a bit? I'll pay you for your time. Great. Sure. First, please retrieve my pack from those Morgan. Deod was carrying it when he was captured, and it contains the key to the castle. I'll meet you at the entrance to Bonloch once you've retrieved it. We sent. Deod was carrying. We dragged him off to the. They sent you over on an important mission, and you can't even fight off some Morgan. Okay, well, it's a good thing I went and talked to you first because your pack's just over here. It's like, because I assume there's going to be stuff inside the castle as well. So she can't even handle these dudes. Why are they even bother sending me? Oh, is this? That's probably a yeah, finesse thing. I wonder if that would have even showed up. Like maybe they still would have dropped it. Even if I didn't have the quests. Mortals stole the secrets of magic. And now they come to take our land. Oh, I'm gonna be lit through that. Before the whirlwind of That's a shame. Are you gonna talk to me again? Uh you oh, there we go. against the force of a simple army. Um, How will you fare, I wonder, against the power of a god? I don't see any struggling here, actually. Of course you aren't. You may be a foolish, unclean sin against the natural order, but I'll grant that you're no coward. Like we single-handedly turned the tide of battle cleansed when Tiernok, the since we showed up a day ago. Comes to our world. Soon. Yeah, cool. Okay. Is the last one even in this section, or is it in... Oh yeah, okay. We'll get to that eventually. Excellent. You found my pack, and the key to Bonlock is still here. Good. Now we just need to find that artifact. A shame about poor Deod. He was a steadfast worker, and I never heard a complaint out of him. Oh well, these things happen. I'll meet you inside, and we'll begin our search for the artifact. Yeah, I think we know where we're going. We're right in front of it. The Tuatha have brought war to the Winter Fey. They bring us all into this conflict, and turn the Court of Winter into some engine of war. But the House of Sorrows 
would not join. They resisted. They were the sole embodiment of all winter, all that was great and unique about our people. It could not be so easily discarded. No, I keep forgetting I have to bring you out every time. The artifact will be in the library, near the back of the castle. You lead, I'll follow. Yeah, sure, I'll do your job for you, I guess. Oh, there are traps around here somewhere. Oh, okay, I guess it was these things. Didn't even see that on the ground, I just saw the, uh, the orange spike. Yeah, see, there were Mergans in here. You guys would have been screwed. I guess you can fight, though. Maybe a little magic powers. We should definitely be hitting level 40. Um, probably like before we head into the final section. I guess it does probably help that I had like a that like 15% extra XP ring on for like the majority of the game. The main problem is I'm going to miss out on like some, well, like a bunch of XP. Ooh, what's that? Huh. That's actually not too bad. So it's obviously worse. But. Like, I do lose that damage, which kind of sucks. But having plus two to sorcery? Like, uh, that means I could put a different epic gem on my... My, uh... My chest piece. Okay, never mind. The, uh... The only other good... Oh, the, the throne was... Uh, like, enchanted for some reason. The only other good, like, epic gem is, like, 15% damage to all the elemental, uh, things. Where is this one? Is it down here? Oh, it is too, okay. Yeah, it's, like, 15% to, uh, to fire, ice, and lightning, but then that I just lose out on, like, the 20% overall damage soon. So I think my other plus one to sorcery comes like it came naturally from the that scholar scholia arcana quest. Pretty sure. So I don't really need a plus two anyway. What's this door at here? dumb that you can fail like a 90% easy one when you're nearly max level in dispelling but oh well. you think it'd at least be consistent with the the luck picking chances is that really all that was down here just like two shitty chests matters which direction I head in now, but I'm just going to get rid of that.
Okay, I guess this would have just led around to swing it anyway. Yeah. Well, I guess we'll head that way after we're done with this direction. Hey, what's the point of this room even? Oh, I guess there's a chest back here. Well, I guess there's a Prismy lockpick. If I really wanted that. Oh, you know, I could just do that. Because even the very hard ones are 50-50 and I have like 200 lockpicks, so... Oh, another Prismy one, okay. I don't think you can buy them. At least not readily. If you can, they'd be like in short quantities, but I'm pretty sure you can't buy them. So I probably shouldn't be heading that way just yet. Because that's the way backwards. I guess this is the thing over here. And there's your artifact. That's it? Not very impressive, is it? I wonder what's inside. Doesn't look like we'll be able to get it open, but my employer might. Here is your reward, as promised. If you'll excuse me, I don't want to linger here. Okay, well, five grand isn't even that much anyway, so whatever. I don't want any of that. What a. Oh, I guess I should be making more phase walk potions, because they can come in handy for certain quests. I remember there was something I wanted to make. Uh, be in here? Yeah, so what do I need for that? Oh, I've got a, a ton of this. Oh, you know what? I probably shouldn't have made that many because they only stack in like stacks of 10. And I've got 27 of them. Oops. Oh well, I think that should probably last me for the rest of the game. So I think I've only needed them for the... Uh, well, they came in handy in that gnome quest. Where I had to like sneak in and steal the weapons or whatever it was. And then outside of that, I think it was just like... Just getting past the... The War Swarm. But, I mean, you never know when you'll need more. Actually, I probably should have... Uh... Well, I mean, if I need it later, I can always make more, but... I was gonna say, I should have made some minor ones, because... The, the minor and the greater ones have two different cooldowns. So you can just like alternate between them. I guess now we want to go. Oh, I guess that... yeah. See, that's where the thresh was initially. That's where I saw it. Then he like moved over there. Um. Yeah, I guess we'll go to the banshee next. So we'll try the mark of that, and that should put us in the right direction. that. Yeah, see that thrush is definitely moving around in the background for some reason. Now yeah, it just disappeared. I figured they'd usually like sit still until you approach them, but... No. Oh, this isn't even the place I need to go.
like a little secret tunnel back here. Does this lead to the other one, or? Oh, you know what? I'll loot this first, and then I'll see if this this goes around there. Oh, that wasn't even a, a huge deal anyway. No, it looks like it might be a dead end. Okay, I thought maybe it would have gone. No, okay, no, it's not even like good anyway. Oh, actually, I guess that's for like if you want to be an all rounder, a battle priest. But it does give you health regen. Okay, I guess that is pretty good if you get the full set. I was gonna, yeah, I was like wondering why something like that had such a low might requirement, but I guess it's for the, um, if you're going for like the jack of all trades, um, fate, destiny, whatever you call it. I don't know how good that'd actually be though, because you're like, you're spreading yourself too thin and you wouldn't get really access to all the really good abilities. I'm not even sure what weapons you'd want to use with that sort of build. I know people really like the chakrams because they have good, like, good range and they pair with the, the bleeding and the poison and they can like hit through enemies. But I'm not sure if that's what you'd use as a Jack of all trades build. Uh, so we could go to hand that in, but actually, yeah, that probably would be smarter because we're heading down this way next anyway. Greetings. Oh, good stuff. The Mergen numbers have already decreased. Thank you. Now we can press forward and drive the dam to Wather back into their hole. Take this. It's not much, but I hope it helps. Yeah, somehow. you're right. It isn't much. Tread cautiously. Eh? Actually, I think before I do that, yeah, let's go back and salvage again. Oh, that's interesting. You can actually salvage this one. Usually, you're not allowed to salvage the purple stuff. I'm just gonna leave that. We start making our way down this way now. Oh, why do we have like foot lockers down here? I guess maybe I should head this way first, just to sort of map it all out. It looks like we'll be fighting another Thresh over this way. Wait, does this go down to like... Okay, so this way goes down to the next area. I know I, I missed a dungeon, but I'm just holding out on it just for a bit. Just in case there's any other quests that want to lead me in that direction. I doubt it though, because this looks like it's about... Like we're about done here. And we've got another thrush down here too.
Oh, and by another one I mean another chain. Okay, this should be the last of the... Mortal dares to stand against Tiernok? Strike her down and salt the earth of her grave! Nothing may live, lest Tiernok commands it! You shall be a sacrifice for Tiernok herself! You didn't really get to finish your speech. Struggle as you will, you are deluded. There is no winning for you, only death! Sure. Yes. But death as you define it means little to us. The great cycle returns each to Arthur as to Arthur again. And every time they do, Tiernok gets stronger. Soon she will be born into this world. You will witness her power personally, and it will be the last thing your mortal flesh shall ever feel. I don't know. I feel like I can probably just come back again. Uh, that seems to be about it. I mean, I guess there's a little bit more to explore up here. That's not another thresh, is it? Yeah, that's just the dead body of the one I, I killed. I guess maybe I should be right to go into that dungeon now, because there, there really doesn't seem to be... Yeah, that seems to be this area mapped out. So we should be right to travel down to whatever this is. Actually, I guess before I do that, I should see what what these guys want for me now. So who knows which direction they want me to go in. Gadfro's voice has fallen silent in this land. The Tuatha are frightened and disorganized. They run back to Alabastra to make their final stand. We owe you much. Our eyes are opened and our blades unsheathed. Cluricon is one, but the House of Pride stands between us and the final goal. We are now free to press forward, and I can take you to an old friend who knows the next step. Yes, we will take you to his filthy tower on the island of Danistar. Oh, he that might be the island and has not emerged the side of time. I would like nothing more than to let him rot there. But he knows of a way past the Sentinel of the House of Pride. But there will be more danger on the path ahead. Take these blades to prepare for whatever troubles you will face at his tower or beyond. They're just going to be shitty Feyblades. Oh, we reached max level. Far to the yeah, they are just Feyblades that I'm not going to use. Darken tree by the Caled coast. Meet me there, and we can walk the shadow to the gnome's tower. Aelin Shear will be waiting there. She was most insistent to join in whatever business you have with the Collector of the Dead. Right. We will meet again at the Shadowed Tree on the Caleb Coast. I assume that's down... Okay, yeah, so I think that's going to lead over to here. I figured that was there for a reason. They wouldn't just, like, drop that there. Nothing. But I guess we hit max level, so... I don't know how to put this in. I think I've got everything. Like, everything should be sorted. Uh, I think this should be maxed out, but... Wait, didn't I just do the... Dispelling trainer? I thought I just did, like, the... The master dispelling trainer. Oh no wait, that was uh that was Sagecraft. I guess dispelling is part of something else. Yeah, I guess technically persuasion should be Yeah. I guess if I screw it up I can always respec again, but I shouldn't need to. Uh so I guess the final point should just go into adrenaline surge. So that should technically go up to 5. Actually, no, it shouldn't, because I don't have the, the plus 1 in might. 
But uh, basically, if we get close to dying, we get like a second wind sort of thing. So that's a pretty good passive to have. And we just... And we can totally go into the battle mage, but don't really need it. Oh wait, did it? Does it automatically let us go into level 41? I thought it would max this out until the DLC started. Okay, so we may have just straight up up the uh, the level cap to 50. Okay, let's go back to the Sanctuary Grotto then. And we'll uh, see what this is about. So yeah, I think we're done with all the side... Yeah, we don't have any side quests left. At least not yet. There's probably more in here. Oh, this is just like a little... short dungeon. I guess maybe that was the issue I was having with these guys. It seems like the... If you hit them with this, but then the, their shield is up. Like, they take the hit. Oh, there's actually a few more than I thought. But they seem to take the hit. But they don't actually... Get the, like, get the sigil burned into them. And so that's why I couldn't blow them up before. So they take like minimal damage from getting hit by this thing, but they you can't actually trigger the explosion. Okay, just because you're resistant, you didn't get staggered by that. Sorry, you're dead anyway. Where you came in? Oh wait, I'm not getting any more XP actually. I just realized. Yeah, okay, so I think what happened is it knocked me over like... It, it gave me the excess X XP to hit... The, uh, like I said, like 3000 excess. After completing that quest, but now it's not going to give me any more until after I do the main story. Now, like, part of me was tempted to just sort of, like, mainline the main story now to try and get into the DLC. But then I thought the, like, the other two DLCs have, um, like, they lock you in as soon as you go to start them. Uh, like, the first DLC locks you in until you finish it. And the second DLC locks you in until, like, the halfway point. So I don't want to, like, start the last DLC and then get locked in after, like, skipping a bunch of this content, so... Like, unfortunately, we are going to lose out on some XP. Because, like, basically all these... Any of these kills we get, any side quests we do, they're just going to be wasted essentially but oh well okay yeah that's all that was it was just a, a little dungeon I did miss this little chest though. So I can sort of see what's in here before we head out. Uh, oh, it's over here I guess. Oh, good. That was totally worth it. Well, I'm glad all you enemies respawned. Can I just like ignore you though? Surely you're not going to follow me into the next area. 
because there's really no point in fighting you. So are these are allies over here, or no? These might just be like a different group of. Yeah, one of you has a quest. Who is it? Oh, it's the one that's sleeping. Okay. Hail adventurer! I am Bruin the Bard, spinner of stories, seeker of adventure. Allow me to welcome you to the Kaled Coast, haven to the wise and wicked. These brave soldiers, the finest of the Alfar armies, they escorted me all the way from Melsenshir to these verdant lands. Alas, our journey together has come to an end. But there is still adventure to be had, so join me. If not, then I bid you fair warning. Your journey shall be far less exciting without this storyteller at hand. Ah, yes. It has been nearly a decade since I have told tales for an audience, and I seek to reclaim that trade. These soldiers have been of no help. Fight, fight, fight. That's all they think about. So please... Let me regale you with tales of the Kaled Coast. I will make sure your time is well spent, and there may even be a twist at the end. Well, there's not going to be a twist if you just I told me that it's going to be coming. You, someone who cherishes a good story. Let us proceed. The first stop on our tour begins across the bridge behind me. Alas, there is one small problem. That area is favored by our enemies. If you can clear the area of them, I will follow and join you. A twist would not be that you are like you led me out into a secluded area so you can try and like rob me or something. Okay, I guess I'll go access this bridge. They're done. Now what? I've got to wait for you to. Did he go back to sleep and now he's got to like stand up? Yeah, he sure did. Hello. Excellent work. You are clearly much more proficient in the ways of war than most visitors of the Kaled Coast, even the soldiers. It would be my great pleasure. Picture it. Ten years ago, the rising sun, a lingering fog. Somewhere in the forest are screams, the cries of battle, then silence. It happened here upon this site, the ambush of Gornakri. It is here on this spot where the Bolgan drew first blood, killing Lord Erengastir, his son, and their squires during their morning ride. Let us move on, shall we? And if you don't mind, there are more beasts to attend to ahead. Yeah, sure, Goodbye. I'm going to be getting paid for this too, because I'm essentially just ex Castle escorting Gastir. you. What do you have to sell? Anything of... Well, I guess I'll buy more lockpicks. Why not? I don't think I really need... They're from Bolgan, and we can anything else from... Goodbye. So I may as well track this one. So I at least know where I'm going. The Tuatha have forced their war upon us. They eagerly cut through mortal flesh and mortal bone, and as a reminder of their butchery, they display these mortal corpses throughout the land, turning sanctity into putrescence. The bodies remain on our ground and on our gallows tree, bloated and corrupt. Did I not loot you guys? I guess not. I guess I was too concerned with that guy showing back up. I think he would have at least made his way across the first bridge after I cleared it, but... Oh no, this time there's three of them. Okay, 
Might as well just sit here and wait for him to head this way this time. They're really gonna fail you on a 90% like every time. Well, he's slowly making his way over here. Very slowly, I might add. Hello, you have done it. You have rid the gates of the Bolgan. As promised, I have another tale to be told. The very first Erin Gastir arrived here generations ago from Melsenshir, before the final tower was raised, when the great giants of Cluricon were but saplings. On that very first morning of his arrival, while the sun ascended the sky, Gastir scaled the heights and saw below him the great keep of the merchant Ancilla. Gastir could not bear such an intrusion on his new ancestral homeland and swore an oath. By right of mine and sword in hand, I will not forsake our native land. Now that you've seen Castle Gastir, we should move on to the final stop on our journey. Let me guess there's Goodbye. more... One of those Brogans up ahead. Bolgans, rather. Same thing. No, I, I guess that's it, just a cliffs. I would touch the wall stone, but I'm, I'd be worried that uh, I don't get like halfway through it before he showed up. Yeah, the fact that they block is sort of annoying. Okay. I guess I'll just wait for you to turn up. I don't know what the... Oh, what's that? What percent chance to shock enemies when blocking? Uh... No, I'm good, thanks. Yeah, may as well not even use the charisma stuff on that. When I have a 50% chance to just... force my way through it. Hello? There. You've cleansed this place of the Bolgan. I shall tell you the last tale, the best of the lot. Believe me, these cliffs were made for my story. Oh, this is where I push you I off. I told the tale no? of the okay. first Aaron Gastir, he who discovered these lands. And I've told the tale of his descendant, the last Aaron Gastir, he who lost these lands. My final tale is that this last lord took a young mistress to his bed, a servant named Wilder Brandon. They had a child, a child he refused to claim as his own. To assuage his guilt, he wrote a royal letter in which he decreed to her and the child great wealth. But rather than take that letter, she took her own life. Here, yeah, that woman was my mother. Oh, what a Even twist. Friend, I do not have much, but I will offer you all that I have to find me that letter. The letter that broke my mother's heart. Okay. Yes. yes, I suppose we are friends. Oh, not, not really, sure I just to look for press X is the other option. Father. Strange to call him that. I would think he'd keep it near, lest such revelations be discovered. I mean, there was like an arrow. That would make some sense, wouldn't oh, okay. it? Okay. I'll be back at camp. Be careful. I would feel terrible if anything happened to you. Oh, thanks. Okay. Where is the letter? Goodbye. Yeah, let's just ask him to where the thing is that he's looking for.